Alrighty, what's up, beautiful people? It is Wednesday the 21st, and I'm going to keep things nice and short here. Short and sweet. Because I am exhausted. I'm going to pop me a bedtime Betty and hit the sheets. But I think tomorrow is going to be a really, really interesting day. So you had NVIDIA earnings tonight after the close. And so far, so good for the NVIDIA bulls. Close is around 675. And in the after hours, you're trading around 735. So she's up about 60 bucks here. The big thing for tomorrow, can NVIDIA take out the highs? Can they break it above that 747, 748-ish? If they can, that should help the S&Ps and the QQQ keep pushing higher. Now, vice versa, if they can't quite break it out, maybe tomorrow morning is a little bit of that, uh, that classic gap in crap. The pressure that you had in the market earlier, about 30 minutes before the close, uh, the S&Ps were down, the QQQ was down, pretty much everything was down, and then boom. The big end of day rally, the pressure you saw earlier, if Nvidia can't break out and actually begins to pull back, the pressure might return. So keep a very close eye on Invid. And then for the QQQ here, the QQQ futures rather, it's a really interesting spot. We do have a brand new daily squeeze. And things things are still bullish. The big three score is a 7 out of 10. There's a few signs of exhaustion. Now, exhaustion doesn't mean we can't go higher. Um, it doesn't mean we have to pull back. But as we know, a little tougher to get that big breakout and that continued push when there are signs of exhaustion. So one of those signs is the break in momentum. Momentum line crosses back below zero. And the other sign of exhaustion is in the big three signals. All right, we've gone from green to blue, from bullish to neutral. So again, it's not bearish. It's not, uh, it's not a daily sell signal. If anything, it's a sign that the market is maybe, just maybe, a little bit tired. Again, if NVIDIA can break out in a huge fashion, uh, they might keep it pushing. If NVIDIA can't get the job done, things might be a bit more choppy, or potentially, we end up right back where we were, under that 21 EMA, bunch of lower time frame sell signals, at which point I think you're looking for a flush down towards that daily 50. So it's an interesting spot, and I don't think tomorrow's going to be a dull day. And then over here on the S&P futures, we don't have the daily squeeze, but it's pretty much the same. Everything's still bullish. The big three score is 8 out of 10. Couple signs of exhaustion. Momentum breaking under zero. Big three signals going from green to blue. So now the question is, if they want to take it higher... Can they take it higher in a sustainable fashion on declining momentum? We'll find out pretty soon. And then we got the uh, the updated score sheet for tonight. And there's been a pretty big shift here in the uh, the rankings this week. Right now, your top 10, 15 names, it's not the tech stocks. It's not the semiconductors. It's the banks. It's energy. It is healthcare. JP Morgan, UMP, Goldman, Wells Fargo, Home Depot. All right, they're all looking pretty bullish. And then the S&Ps drop down to a 56. Meta drops down to a 51. Broadcom is a 48. The SMH is a 46. Um, again, still bullish. But considering where things were about a week ago, it's a little bit of a fall from grace. What else we got? We have the IWM down here at 41. Google drops to a 38. QQQ drops to a 32. AMD at 23. Apple at a negative 11. Bad, bad Apple. And then Tesla is a negative 16. So yeah, a, a little bit of a, a shift here in the rankings. One thing I think you want to take into consideration, these aren't necessarily market-leading names. Meaning the S&Ps tend to be the strongest when NVIDIA, AMD, Microsoft, Apple, the FANG stocks, and MAG7, the S&Ps tend to be their strongest 
when those names are leading the way forward, leading the charge. So again, that's why I think NVIDIA is going to be a pretty big deal. If NVIDIA can't break out and potentially it begins to pull back, that should put more pressure back in the QQQ. With pressure in the QQQ, at that point, if the S&Ps are going to go higher in a, in a meaningful fashion, you are banking on JP Morgan, Goldman, and Home Depot to get the job done. It could happen. It's not my favorite bet. So the game plan for tomorrow and the rest of the week is just one, patience. I don't got to be the first guy to get long or short. But then as far as the NQ goes, we're going to play the over-under game here at your 21 EMA. Now, today you had that huge push into the close. I think we should expect some sort of dip. We might not get it, but I think most times you get a huge crazy push. There should be some sort of pullback into 15-minute support, into 30-minute support. The key tomorrow, aside from NVIDIA, how can QQQ handle the pullback? Do we pull back and we lose our 5-minute buy signal? We're losing the 15-minute. We are getting fresh sell signals. If that takes place and price breaks back under that 21 EMA, y'all know the drill. It's the, uh, the basics of the squeeze. Above that 21 EMA, bunch of buy signals on the big three indicator. Not a guarantee, but a pretty good chance they want to take that squeeze higher. If things can't hold up on a dip, and we do end up back under that 21 EMA, with lower time frame sell signals, not a guarantee, but a bit more of a recipe for a flush lower. So it's going to be interesting. And again, I think the biggest thing you want to keep in mind, right, everything's still bullish. Big three scores are looking good. We're just a little bit overbought. Now take a look at uh, take a look at SMCI. That uh, that was technically overbought at 400. It was overbought at 500. It was overbought all the way up there at 1100. So overbought is not a reason to get short. It's not a reason for uh, for an immediate pullback. For me, it's just context. We had that big, beautiful weekly squeeze. It got the job done. Fired long about 12, 13 weeks ago. Took you right into the upside target. In most situations, this is where things will begin to fizzle out. Doesn't mean we got to get a big pullback. Just things, uh, just means things might trade sideways. If Nvidia can break out, then they might keep that push going. So be patient, be disciplined, keep a very close eye on that daily squeeze, and again, play the over under game at your 21 EMA. Above it with buy signals, you are looking to get long, and below it with sell signals, you are looking to get short. We'll see what's up tomorrow morning. We shall see if NVIDIA can break out, and we'll see if the market can handle a lower time frame pullback. Minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. But all right, y'all, thank you for watching. As a reminder, we are doing the President's Day sale. So you can grab all the indicators here, the classes, the trading room, all the fix-ins for 30% off. Link in the description. Have a good night, be safe, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Adios.